What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to the next example. So a company has sales of 200,000 and a gross margin of 18%. Next year, the sales are forecasted to be 230,000. Using the percent of sales method, what is the forecasted cost of goods sold for next year? Now, as I mentioned with previous examples, this here, it's written out in the PDF file at the beginning of the section on the site. So you could print that out. You don't have to write all this out. If you're watching this on YouTube, in the description box, there will be a link that takes you to the site where you can find that PDF with this question and a bunch of others. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you how to do this the longer way. I'm going to sort of break it down in a little bit more detail. And then at the end, I'll show you how to do it, how I would do it quickly if, for example, this came up on a test and I was a little pressed for time. So notice we're given information about the income statement here and about the top lines of the income statement. So we have information about the current income statement, and then we're going to have to find out information about the pro forma or the future income statement. And so we're given information about the sales or revenue. So the current sales are 200,000. So let's stay with this current income statement for now. And we're told the gross margin is 18%. So with sales, what happens is we subtract cost of goods sold, and then we end up getting gross profit. And in this case, the gross profit is 18% of sales. Remember, gross margin is gross profit over sales or gross profit over revenue. So 200,000 times 18% would give us 36,000 over here. And now notice that the difference between these, which is 164,000, that would be the cost of goods sold like that, right? So this here is 18% of sales. And then the cost of goods sold 164,000 divided by 200,000 is 82%. We could have also got this 82% by taking 100% because we're taking everything in terms of as a percentage of sales and subtracting that 18% because both of these have to add up to that 100%. So 100% minus 18% gives us that 82% for the cost of goods sold. And so what we can do now is find what we're finding is the forecast that cost of goods sold here and we have the um the sales the forecasted sales well since it's going to be that same percentage of sales basically what we can do is we could take the 82 percent multiply it by the forecasted sales and that would give us 188 600 and so that's the answer to the question. And then if you want to get the forecasted gross profit as well, even though they didn't ask for it, it's 41,400. Okay, so sometimes they'll give you the cost of goods sold in the question, and then it's very easy. You just find out what is the percentage of the sales. So when you do that, you'd get 0 0.82, and then you multiply it by the future sales, 230,000 to get that 188,600. Another way you could have done this is you could have found out how much the sales grew, the percentage, which would be, I did this in the lecture videos and previous ones, new minus old over old, 230 minus 200 over 200, that would give you 15%. And then if you multiply the 164,000 by one plus the growth rate, 1.15, you would end up getting that 188,600 as well. And then notice how these percentages, they would be the same. This would be 82%, this would be 18% if you wanna do a final check in your calculator, right? So a bunch of different ways to do it. Basically, that is the answer. And then using the percent of sales method, we found out the cost of goods sold percentage and then multiplied it by the future sales. So this is usually how the um, how certain textbooks, if they're going over percent of sales, how they're gonna show it. But again, there's just multiple ways to do this. Now, if I got this question on a test and I read through it, 
I would see that the gross margin is 18%. So that means that the percent of the sales or um, the percent of the cost of goods sold of sales would be 100% minus that. So in decimals, what I would have done is I would have did 1 minus 0 0.18, which would give us 0 0.82, and then I just multiply that by 230,000. Like that. All right, basically the same thing here, you get 0.82, here you get 0.82. It's basically the exact same thing as this. It's just, in this case, I kind of found the cost of goods sold. I went through it a longer way just to show you the whole process. But as you get more comfortable, depending on the information that you're given, you can start doing it quicker. And then this here would give you that same correct answer.